Hello everyone to this lecture about the continuous random variables. The difference between the continuous random variables and the discrete random variables that we have seen before is the sample space. So the sample space in the case of discrete random variables is countable. However, in the continuous random variables, the sample space is an uncountable uh, sample space or, or an uncountable set. And uh, we define it for the discrete case that for each random variable x, we define uh, PMF or the probability mass function for each uh, discrete random variables. And for the continuous random variables, we will define the probability density function PDF. The probability density function uh, is noted by f, uh, f of x, so fx, and we can get the probability of x in an interval b because x is a continuous random variable, so we will define it in an interval not uh, itself. So the probability of x in an interval is the integral that x, x in that interval b. Uh, of fx dx and we will see the pdf in more detail later when we talk about the distributions now i will just give you some properties of this function so it is always bigger than or equals to zero and its integral from negative infinity to infinity is always equals one and the function itself uh, isn't an event's probability so the, its integral is p, p of x in b and it is a probability and it has the properties of an event's probability, so it is always between zero. So p itself is always between zero and one. However, a fix, for example, can be bigger than uh, one. And the probability of x between a and b, so the probability that uh, x in interval a b is the integral of a b of f x dx. It's the same definition here. And the probability that x is equals a specific. Uh, element or a specific number is always equal to zero because x is continuous so in this case the probability of x equals a specific a specific element is always equal to zero because it will be the integral from this element to uh, the same element and it, we know that it is always uh, zero so from this we know that the when x is a continuous random variable so it always defined for an interval and not at a specific uh, element or a specific number We will talk also about the expectation and variance. We have seen it before in the discrete continuous case. The difference here is just in the definition. So the expectation of a random variable or continuous random variable x is defined by the integrating from negative infinity to uh, infinity of x fx dx. In the discrete case, we have seen that ex is defined by the summation is equal to the summation of x from negative infinity to infinity of x px where px is the uh, pmf but this in the discrete uh, random variable case however in the continuous the definition is like that and we use the integral instead of the summation and fx instead of px and the variance is defined by the same expression so it has the same expression that we have seen in the uh, discrete case and uh, variance and the expectation also uh, have the same properties that we have seen in the discrete case. So the expectation is uh, linear. So the expectation of ax plus b is equals ax plus b. And the variance of ax plus b is equals a squared variance of x. And the expectation of a function of a random variable x is uh, the integral from negative infinity to infinity of this function. Uh, times the PDF of that uh, random variable. We will talk also about the cumulative distribution function in the case of uh, continuous random variables. We have seen it before in the case of in the case of discrete random variable. The definition here in the case of continuous uh, random variables is the integral is the p of x less than or equals to a, which is calls f a, we call is CDF, and uh, its definition is the integral from negative infinity to that element a of fx dx. We have seen in the discrete case that f a is equals is equals summation for x less than or equals to a of p x when p is the PMF of uh, a discrete random variable. However, in the continuous, we use the integral and we use fx dx, and it is 
clear from this expression that fx is the derivative of fa with respect to a so we can get fx when we have for example fa and we want to get fx we can get it from fa uh, by using this expression